A new state gas fee is supposed to take effect in July. Already high gas prices would then go up just a little bit more, two cents per gallon to start. That money would go to CDOT. Now the same lawmakers who created that gas fee want to delay that gas fee, but still give CDOT $77 million. So if that can happen without a gas fee this year, why can't it happen without a gas fee every year? No matter how high gas prices get, Colorado's roads benefit from the same dollar amount, 22 cents per gallon. When gas was $2.99, the state's 22 cents per gallon gas tax went to CDOT. Now that gas is $3.87, the state's 22 cents per gallon gas tax goes to CDOT. Last year, state lawmakers passed a bill to create an escalating gas fee, starting at an additional 2 cents per gallon, increasing to 8 cents per gallon. It's supposed to start in July. Now, those same lawmakers want to delay the start of that fee until next April. I think it's a recognition of the economic conditions that we find ourselves in. The plan by the Democrats who created the gas fee is is to delay the gas fee but still give CDOT the money that was expected. Part of the reason they can do that is because Colorado is estimated to have a $2 billion budget overage, money that would be returned to residents as a Tabor refund. How much would you get? For instance, let's say your income is $75,000. Your refund would be $445 if you're single and double that if you're a couple. Except these refund amounts could be lower if lawmakers take $77 million of the $2 billion to fund CDOT. One way of looking at it is that people are going to be saving that money right now before uh, they go into the next tax year, next year. It really depends how much you would have driven and it really depends on how much your Tabor rebate would have been, and for each person, it's hard to predict. Henry Sobene is a former CDOT commissioner and former state budget director for two governors. He explained why having the Tabor refund money to play with is why the legislature can fund CDOT today, but perhaps not in years when there is no Tabor refund money. The viewers should understand the general fund is really meant for public safety, education, health care, and in really good years, it, it helps offset transportation. But it's a good question. If the legislature can pay for transportation without new fees today, you know, in an election year, why can't they do it next year and the year after? I don't see this as being something that the legislature revisits. It's just because people are, are caught right now in a very tough fiscal situation because of inflationary pressures that are out of our control. Would also expand a savings on vehicle registration over the next two years. The one area it does not change, delivery fees and rideshare fees. Those fees, which are more than a quarter per delivery, will not be delayed.